Psalm 46.10 says, Be still and know that I am God. This is the best place to do it. I can't do it TV, telephone, computer, whatever. You get out here and just kind of sit in the quiet and, and just look around and see. I mean, from the roots of the trees to the way the river flows, he's here. Writing for me has always been not only a catharsis, but sort of a, a thought organizer. Uh, the idea that I could literally write down what I'm thinking and then have it say something or mean something. I think it's a great way to have reminders where my relationship with God was. I can tell that exactly from where I wrote that poem. Our spiritual life here on this earth is always going to ebb and flow. There's going to be dry times, there's going to be times of plenty and, and times of laughter and times of tears. I mean, it's, it's, it's very much a part of our cycle in our life here. It's part of being human. I came to Christ when I was 12 years old and it took me a long time to kind of figure it out. And I guess what I mean by that is I was looking at the religion side of it and I didn't really understand that it was a relationship. And it took me a long time before I realized that the things I'm doing to try to reach God, which is what religion, aren't going to work. But this whole idea of he and I together in this relationship and literally doing every day together is what it's all about. I don't necessarily like to journal. I like to journal about nature. I like to get outdoors and journaling or doing a little bit of doodling and drawing really helps me appreciate God's creation. I feel closer to God when I'm out in nature. Part of that is an exercise or a discipline of writing and drawing when I'm out in nature. I'm not an artist, I'm a hack, I'm a wannabe, but I'm, I'm drawing this lake and this, this scene, and again, the, I could take a picture of it and have a better reproduction of it, but the act of drawing it is just a way to look a little deeper, to slow down a little bit more, observe a little bit more. It's just a discipline I, I've come to enjoy and appreciate. I am crazy about bugs and birds and and animals and and uh, the botanicals I just love all that and so I'm just in awe of the fact that God created this and it's so diverse and so unique and so amazing that that's a great way for me to connect with God just like everyone my life has stresses in it I have ups and downs and Sometimes it's so stressful that I have trouble unwinding. I just am going to jump out of my skin. And so it helps me a great deal to get outside. It helps me a great deal to go for a walk or to write some things down, to draw a picture. It helps slow everything down a little bit and to get among the beauty that God has created and to be able to feast my eyes and my ears and my senses on what God has created. There's just nothing like it for me. I like to get up early to shoot pictures so that I can catch the good morning light because morning light is really beautiful. And it's also, it always just feels like a fresh start. Like for me, light is like the most powerful way that I can see the Creator. The sunrise is, is amazing, or the moon is just full and beautiful and shining on the water. When I shoot nature, I don't usually have a lot of expectations. Things are constantly changing and you don't have control over a lot of it, which is um, really interesting and what kind of makes it alive. or if a bird is flying over the water and the sun catches the water in this perfect way. I, light for me is like just, it's so powerful and that's definitely where I see God. You can see the dew and it just feels like it's always a mystery, which is really beautiful to me. And I feel like I see, I see God in that because 
God is a mystery, but a mystery that we can believe in and that we can trust. And I can trust every morning that I'm going to find something new and see new things.